I'll be starting off this DIY video with a Dollar Tree parchment paper and a floral ring. And all I'm going to be doing is tracing out the shape of the floral ring on the parchment paper. Now I'm going to go ahead and use hot glue and draw out lines within the shape that I just drew on the parchment paper. I'm going to be doing this in a way that the lines will look separate but still be together in some sort of way just so that I can have the shape that I want and they all will stay together and at the same time I will still have my separate lines. Now because the glue is going to spread out, it kind of messed up the design that I had in mind, but it's still going to be okay because I can still see some lines in what I have here. After some few minutes when it was dry, I took it out and this is what it looks like. This is just one that I have made, but I'm going to need a lot of these. So I'm going to be making more of what I just made. I decided to add a smaller size to my design to keep it interesting. There are a lot of designs that you can make with hot glue on parchment papers and another one was one that I made a while back and when I got the shape that I wanted, all I did was to use hot glue. I drew lines within the circle that will all meet in the middle. After some few minutes when it was dry, this is what it looks like. Going back to the hot glue rings that I just made, I took them all out and spray painted them with different colors, starting with gold. I had another set spray painted in silver. I then spray painted a few of them in white and black too as well. I'm going to be making a wall art and I'll be using pieces from a Dollar Tree tray. And these are leftover pieces from another project that I had made. And I'm going to show you guys a little clip of what I used these pieces for, for that other DIY project. And all I did was to cut out the exact shape that I wanted. And because this Dollar Tree tray has a silver look in the front and black at the back, I used it to decorate a room divider that I made. And this is how it looks with a silver in front and with a back too as well. And the link for this video is going to be down in the description box below. I'm just simply tracing out the shape that I will need from the leftover cutout pieces. For this design, I'll be making use of the front of the tray that's in silver and the back of the tray that's in black. These pieces are going to be glued to the circular designs that I made with the hot glue and some of them are going to be facing upward giving me the silver effect while the others will be the back of the tray that we'll be showing that's in black. I started arranging the pieces the way I want them to look. And then when I was sure of what I wanted, I went ahead to use hot glue to attach the pieces together.
I had one of the cutout tray pieces glued inside one of the smaller pieces that I did with the hot glue to make it look like a mirror. This is also going to be added to the design. I turned this over and then used craft sticks to give them all a better hold. The hot glue alone holding the pieces together, as you can see, it's not strong enough. So the craft sticks will keep them straight and also hold them firmly together. I'm going to mount this on the wall with Dollar Tree mounting tape. The sides that did not have the craft sticks on, like this side here, I had to put another mounting tape behind it to keep it flat on the wall. I added another sticky tab to this other one here at the corner as well. This is a beautiful metallic looking wall art that costed literally zero dollars for me because I already had the glue sticks and the tray. Now the other hot glue design that I showed you guys earlier, I spray painted that gold and then I attached it to two tray pieces that I had turned into a vase. And the unique thing about this DIY that I made with the tray pieces was that the cutout parts that I had taken off from the tray pieces were used as the base. After the hot glue design was glued on, I let it change my mind and spray painted the inside black to give it a different look. And I also made a mirror to go with it. There are lots of designs that you can do with hot glue and parchment paper. And these are just a few that I have to share with you guys for now, but I have a lot more to share with you guys coming soon. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.